what's going on guys so we got another map that we're gonna be taking a look at right now it's uh actually i think the most recent map from maui i've uploaded a couple of videos about his maps because honestly there's nothing out there that can beat this in the marketplace this is the most photorealistic environments you can get uh pretty much all of his packs are and they're worth every penny and no i was not paid to say that that's just being real and pretty much showcasing all these maps for you guys so you can take a look at it before you actually purchase it so uh first things first uh the fps right here on the right side is the actual fps of the unreal engine 4 i am recording this on a separate laptop so the lag that you're seeing in the actual capture that's not from the computer so take a look at this if this doesn't dip to red and it's lagging that's not because the rtx 3090 is hurting it's just the capturing part is hurting because like i said that laptop is a dinosaur it's like a, it has like a 1070 so uh, that being said we're going to be doing an editor first a uh, walk through here now i did turn it up a little bit because it was dark when it first started so to do that go to post processing and just change the exposure to like two or three so let's go exit out of that right there and let's press selected viewport is good let's press play all right so here we are um everything is loaded up and i did decrease the walking speed as well i'll show you how to do that in a second so i'm gonna try not to do a lot of fast movements but again this map right here like his other maps like the burned forest that i showed you guys this looks freaking amazing. Now I'm going to try and figure out how to flatten some of these areas because as you can see they're kind of like very steep in some areas. I'm going to have to flatten some stuff out just for some stuff. And this is actually really big. And I'm going to zoom out here just to show you how massive this freaking environment is. It's just kind of crazy to think about maybe one day we would have like a game that would look like this. Just look at these. Look at these scans. These scans are ridiculous. They look so good. Just walking around here and then we'll go out here in a second so you can see the entire map. And then what I'm going to do is repackage this as a video game so I can open it as an EXE file. So you can see it that way as well. Let's press F11 so you can kind of see it full screen. Sorry about that. Forgot. Let's go here. I'm hoping that the laptop would capture this because this is really smooth. 76 frames per second. This is actually really, really smooth. Look at this thing. This is nice. Now, I was trying to use Power IK on his maps, but I think there is a bug in Unreal Engine 4 that's not letting me do it. So I'm going to have to wait. Maybe in Unreal Engine 5 it would work. Look at this thing. It's gorgeous. Now, if only somebody can come up with... I mean, look at this. Like an interior uh, assets or environments similar to this kind of quality in the Epic Marketplace right now. I mean, dude, you're probably going to take my money because right now we have a lot of outdoor environments and they look really good, but when it comes to indoors M majority of the stuff in the marketplace are still really gamey looking if you know what i mean and somebody did ask to see if i can put characters in this map yes it it works just like a regular map i mean you can technically make a game out of this map if you wanted to but for the sake of what i do i usually make shorts for it so you can see auto exposure is on but that's okay i'll turn that off later so to import a character in this map you just have to go to school for four years and learn C++. I mean, it's, it's that easy. So go to school for C++ and then you can import a character in here. I'm just joking. You just legit just drag and drop one. Call it a day. And here's a character again from another talented CG creator that I got from Turbo Squid. You can get this character from Turbo Squid. So his package comes with an Unreal one. I didn't end up using that one. I ended up converting his mid-poly to unreal so as you can see it's who looks pretty freaking good now his face i gotta figure out because i don't know 
something's not right and I did remove some of his eyeballs he had three dots there originally and I took two of them out so it's only one red dot but this freaking model right here and I'll I will link the uh, the link of this artist in the description below he's the same guy that created my cyborg robot once that you guys see all the time look at this this is sick I just wish it would make more but yeah you can legit just drag and drop a character in this scene and that's pretty much it look at this just looking out like that He's probably wondering where stimulus check is. Look at this. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's package this up and let's open it in an EXE file so you can see that kind of like as a game mode. Um, I'm going to go back out a little bit so you can see the entire world real quick because it is really big, really big. And I'm pretty sure this also comes with the snow version. So if I go to content, go to birch forest, Go to maps. Yeah, there's a winter level as well, which we will take a look at in another video. But look how massive this map is. This is freaking awesome. Okay. All right. Also, if you want me to, I can actually do that. If you want to see this in third person, like a third person game as well, we'll switch it up just real quick. Um, default class. Let's do a third person character. I just loaded all these in here from the content browser and there you go you can actually see the environment reflecting on this character pretty cool stuff and it does have the physics again like we talked about not so much the water does it look like look at this thing pretty darn cool press F11 and like I said this one so far is pretty darn optimized. I don't even have DLSS on. This is just the RTX 3090 doing its thing. I mean, I wish I can show you what it actually looks like on my screen, but I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, so let's package this up. And we will go to file package project and we will do Android I'm just joking Windows all right here's the game as an actual exe file it's nice it's in full screen yeah dude my recorder is hurting right now yeah Oh my gosh, dude. I don't even think... I'm gonna keep going, but... I might actually have to cut it off, because it's... My laptop is, like, crying. Trying to encode these. That is tree, dude. It runs a lot smoother in the EXE, though. You can see that. Really, this is awesome. It's up here. Look at this. This is like a good sniping spot. You just sit here all day. And camp. Everybody loves a camper. Okay, yeah. But yeah, guys. This is the summer version of the Birch Forest from Maui. Uh, we'll take a look at the winter one later. But I hope this recorded okay. Because I'm looking at my laptop, and yeah, I don't, I don't think it's doing really well. So you want to learn Unreal Engine 4, but majority of the videos out there are for video game creations. Maybe I can help with that. I just created a beginner's course on how to make a movie inside Unreal Engine 4. In an hour and 40 minutes, I'm going to teach you how to install Unreal Engine 4 to create your very first CG animation. Unreal Engine is the future, and this video is the perfect introduction to it.